Hello, my fellow Kitsunis. I am Kitsuart. <laughs> I think of a really good introduction here, but let's not talk about that right now. Um, I've been learning Blender recently, and I'm not sure if some were struggling with the sword tutorial created by CG Fast Truck. Uh, so far, I have finished it, but I had a hard time getting Mixamo animation imported. <laughs> not sure if others are struggling, but just in case, here's the solution that I found. Okay, here we go. So, this is the part where I'm not sure if others were struggling. So, after doing the sword animation here, let me just hit play on this. <laughs> so, you already got to the sword animation part here. And I've been using um, Blender 2.9.2, I believe it is. 0.2? 2.9.2. 2. <laughs> I just don't know. And I just pressed number one to make the happy face. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so what you really want to do is import. So, FBX is what I see in the tutorial do, and you can see I got a lot of <laughs> FBXs here. So I go to the simple walking FBX, so when was this created? Let's go to the early ones. So stop walking. Let's go with the early one right here. Okay, and as you can see, it imported the model, but it's in the T-Pose. And as I hit play, the model is not moving. He's not being animated. So this is one problem. One so in the tutorial, um, his model was actually moving. He it was already animated. It didn't T pose like this one. So if I go back and just like hit undo, and then another solution would be importing a Colada model. So my friend is right here. Like a lot of models right here, so you say you can actually this can actually solve the problem. And as you can see, uh, the model is actually animated, but it has no color. It's just a dark shadow man. <laughs> it's just a shadow man. Um, so the solution around this um, that I found, let's see, where was it at? It's the alpha. So you can see the alpha right here. I increase it, and there you go. The night is now fully colored. But another problem is right here. Let me get out of the way for a second here. Okay, I am completely invisible with my magical fox illusion. <laughs> illusion magic. So uh, you can see there's no keyframes at the bottom. No keyframes at all. No yellow dots. No nothing. So the tutorial involves messing with the keyframes. So, the Colada doesn't um, really go with the keyframes here. There's no keyframes imported or anything. So, what was my solution? My solution was this. So, I tried downloading multiple times from Mixamo, and the solution that I got was this. So, I would import the file. So, get my FBX model. Okay, so. I'm gonna drag these over here because, that's because I'm using my second monitor to record, not using the other one. So we'll go with the original one. So that's the first one that I downloaded. Import FVX. And we can see the color is actually a little bit different from the Colada. I'm not sure if it's a little different from the other one. Maybe it's like a bit more shiny. The Colada was not having the same shine effect. I <laughs> got no idea. But the FVX just looks a little better. So what did I do here to solve this issue? The thing is, I actually deleted everything here. So I go here. I did not do that. Okay, so click out of there. Okay, so I deleted these things right here. Press X to delete. That is not the right thing to do. Okay, had a little bit of trouble finding out um, how I did it. So this is what I did. So the, the knight right here that you got from Mixamo or whichever character downloaded, um, it's just gonna be in a T-pose here. So I, so I click these right here. That was my phone again. So I just click these right here. These are the bones of the character to animate. Delete them. Okay, what the heck's going on in my phone? <laughs> okay, so delete these 
So delete the bones, and then you can see the knight is gone. That is because I'm working with a really small modeling. I'm, I have like really small models here. So I zoom out, and you can see there's a giant behind my, <laughs> my cave. And that giant is actually the knight. So the knight is right here. He's just become a giant. <laughs> he became a giant. <laughs> So, um, the only way to do this would be to rotate him back to his position. So, just grab this. Oh, his helmet came out. The helmet came out, so get the helmet. Shift click the body. Go up. Make sure he's standing up straight. Then I go to the little box right here. This is where you can change the rotation. So, we want the rotation to be at. 90. You can see the helmet is not affected. I have no idea how to rotate multiple things at once using this right here. So I just do it separately. Go to 90. There we go. And that's our knight. He's in the T-pose. He's got no bones, no nothing. So the animation just did not import it the first time. So what I'm going to do is actually just select them. And then go to export. We want to export it as an FBX. So I got all the models right here. So export them. So I'm just gonna call this uh, test run, test night. Okay, and then we want the limit to selected objects. Go copy, just the usual. Selected objects. All right, so selected objects means that you want um, to export only the models that you have selected. So, F ports, bake animation, don't want that. I'm not sure if we want that. So, S ports, FBX, I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> Let's export it. Okay, it should be right here somewhere. Alright, so we got the test night right here. Let me open up, get it back on the... Alright, so we got the test night right here. Alright, it seems like he's got the collar on him and everything. Alright, so he's got the collar, he's got the shyness on him. He's got everything. So everything came out perfectly well. Next, we're going to go to Mixamo. So we go to Mixamo right here. Gotta, let me just skip the logging process. Okay, I haven't used this in a long time, but you want to click Upload Character. So you go select the character file. Then I go back here and find the knight, the test knight. All right. So I'm not sure why this worked for me. Not sure if it's gonna. I I hope it works for you and everybody else that's watching this. So um, just upload the knight. Just wait for the process on here. So as you can see, my knight is like colored. The first time I did it, he was not fully colored. <laughs> I don't know why. So he was not fully colored the first time I actually uploaded him, which was a bit weird. He was not fully colored, but it seems like he's colored this time here. Let's see if it all goes the same way. So you know, just follow the same steps. Just follow what it tells you right here. Just add the chain here. The wrists are going to be here. The wrist. Then there's the elbows will be right here. The temples right here as well for you, let you know if you don't know what an elbow is or the wrist. Should be obvious. And then the knees, put them right here. And then, of course, you cannot forget about the groin. Okay, so now let's just let Maximo do his thing. Okay, so we got our knight right here. Um, <laughs> don't mind how the <laughs> helmet is behaving. Uh, don't mind that. Um, it's going to be different for everybody else, so <laughs> let's just go with that one. <laughs> let's see the new character. Freeze the character will not be saved. Alright, so we got this right here. We got our knight. Now we go to animations. You can add any any animation to the knight. We'll just get some animations in here. So I just choose whatever animation you want. So let's just choose this walking animation right here. We're gonna go with this one. Then we're gonna go to download. Download with skin. No keyframe reduction. That. 
and just do regular FBX binary download. And you know, we play the waiting game again. Oh no, this one actually went fast. Okay, so now you're gonna go to the, your downloads and find the walk in animation, which is right here. That's my old nine right here. So if we know for the walk animation, it's gonna add it to the sword. That's where everything is. Okay, then we got like walking left turn. So we got the, anim the animation in there. Now we gotta do another import yet again. Gotta go to the import, FBX, and then just search for it right in here, walking left turn. Then, you know, everything seems to be okay. So import the FBX. Oh, something happened right here. Alright, and our model is right inside. The first time I did this, um, instead of walking forward, he was actually floating. Which was actually really weird. I'm not sure why it's actually working perfectly well this time. So he's actually doing the animation um, just as he's supposed to. But um, you can see he's actually a giant, just like the other model. So <laughs> we can't have two giants in here. So just undo that. We don't need this knight anymore, so just delete this knight. Press X, delete. All right, so you want to shrink your knight, but um, one thing you cannot do, I forgot to tell you. Okay, so so you think you can just like you know grab the entire knight and then just like scale him all all over again? So you know we don't need this guy anymore. Delete him. We just need this guy. So you think you can actually um just shrink him? Can we shrink him? Okay, it turns out we can actually shrink him. So, um, the first time I tried shrinking my character, it did not go well. So, I'm not sure what I did wrong here. So, you know, you know, he's being shrink. Yeah, I guess you can work with that too. Yeah, just grab him, shrink him. Do just do whatever you want with him. Just grab him, then shrink him. It's not what I wanted to do, but he's already shrinking. Honey, I shrunk the knight. <laughs> so you can see the knight is now in here. So um, in order to do this quick, Q, frame selected. Not what I wanted to do here, but we can just do the same thing here. So let's get this back in our camera view. So we can just go here, Q, frame selected, zoomed in really quick. You can see the knight right there. Okay, scale the knight down. We want him to be short, to be able to um, just you know, we don't want a giant trying to get the sword. Alright, so we got our knight right here. We got him. And there he is. There's a knight. The animation. It's all working perfectly well. Yep. The animation is working. Everything is working. So, another thing you can do, um, that was my computer. Okay, so another thing you can do here, um, let's get rid of this knight. So, another way that you can also like shrink, what the heck is that? What the hell is this? I don't know how that got in here. <laughs> Might as well <laughs> remove this. I have no idea what it was, but um, another thing you can do. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Back in here. So one more, another thing you can actually do to import your model. Go here, import FBX. So last time, the knight was actually a giant, and you can see right here the scale. You can just like put 0 0.1, scale of 0 0.10, and then import the model. Where did he go? I believe he became so tiny we cannot see him. That does not work, but you get what I mean here, so. <laughs> Let's try this one more time here. Okay, never mind, he was not tiny, he was actually a giant still the entire time. Yeah, he's almost close to regular size, so you know, probably 
I mean, it can be different for anybody here, but you know, you just go that. So a point, so 0 0.01 is not good enough, so 0 0.01 maybe. There we go. So now he's back in normal, in the, so now he looks normal size. So, you know, that's another way you can actually also scale your model as well. And that's pretty much it. Not sure if anybody else was having uh, trouble with the CG Facet tutorial, but just wanted to point this out in case if it didn't work for other people that are looking into getting into Blender. Well, that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, first tutorial I ever do about Blender, so yeah. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoy, and you know, if you want me to do any more research on Blender and see what things work for different people in the new version, I'm planning to really get good at this program here. Um, pretty much also add new features to my VTuber here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you with your Blender journey. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. And there I go again, just pressing the button so I can <laughs> activate the animations. <laughs> I guess it's just the... I guess these are just like for the XYZs over here. Oh, well, that'll be it. So, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. There I go again. <laughs>